In 2018, the small college town of Binghamton, New York was rocked by a brutal murder that left a young woman dead and a community in shock. Helly Anderson, a 22-year-old nursing student, was found strangled in her off-campus apartment, and the prime suspect was her ex-boyfriend, a fellow student who had a troubled history with violence. As the investigation unfolded, a picture emerged of a toxic relationship marked by jealousy, possessiveness, and escalating threats. But what drove this promising young man to commit such a heinous act? In this true crime series, we'll explore the events leading up to Haley's murder, the police investigation that followed, and the impact of this tragedy on the people who knew her best. Join us as we unravel the tragic murder of Haley Anderson. A very warm welcome once again to Yarrow Crime. Today, we'll be taking a look into a murder that cut short the life of a promising young lady named Haley Anderson. But before we continue, if you enjoy our content and want to learn more about true crime stories, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you. Haley Anderson was from Westbury, New York, and she was the daughter of Gordon and Karen Anderson, and the older sister to Madeline Anderson. She was a 22 in March 2018, and was a fifth year senior. She had a position lined up at an emergency center on Long Island and was to graduate in May 2018. Everyone who knew Haley remembers her charming smile and kind spirit. Haley was a talented, diligent and passionate individual who was devoted to her family. People connected with her right away because of her joyful and loving demeanor. She was viewed by many as nothing less than a bundle of joy. Haley had always wanted to live in California have a hippie van, and work as a travel nurse. She had little worries and was a carefree soul. Friends described Haley as diligent, sociable, and sympathetic, with a passion for music. On the other hand, Orlando Totero, a nursing student at Binghamton University, was 22 years old in March 2018. Orlando Enrique Totero Marino had a dual citizen of Nicaragua and the United States. At the university, Haley met Kevin Ocampo, a fellow nursing student. They connected and soon began a romantic relationship. One fateful day in 2016, Haley attended a party that Kevin hosted at his house, and it was here she made the acquaintance of Orlando Tachero, a fellow nursing student. Orlando and Haley had attended a few classes together, but they had never really bonded until that evening. Orlando and Haley shared a similar personality. They both put in a ton of extra effort during the week and partied on the weekends. Both enjoyed making new friends and socializing with new people. The two complemented each other well and were frequently the life of any gathering. Orlando and Kevin had a deep bond as well. Orlando was recruited by Kevin, who started a fraternity. They were closed because they were the only two Hispanics in their group who could speak Spanish. Haley and Kevin's relationship became shaky at this point and they decided to take a break from each other. Haley got together with Orlando during the hiatus, but she was clear from the onset that she didn't desire a committed, monogamous relationship. She merely desired a brief liaison, and Orlando had no problems with that. That was at least what he claimed. Members of Kevin's fraternity soon found out about Haley and Orlando's relationship. Orlando ignored their attempts to persuade him to end this relationship. Even when Heli herself expressed a desire to end their relationship, Orlando wasn't prepared to let her go. He was possessive of Haley and would not accept a negative response. Orlando frequented Haley's home after the split without permission. He also frequently pursued Heli by driving by her home at unusual hours. Things were becoming frightening for Haley as Orlando started acting creepily. On September 15, 2017, Haley went to a gathering at Orlando's house where he questioned her about her recent friendship with Kevin. Haley then decided to cut off any romantic ties with Orlando. According to Anderson's friend, she wanted to stay friends with Tochero. On March 8, 2018, in his Oak Street apartment in the west side of Binghamton, a city in Broome County, New York, Orlando strangled Haley to death by hand. 
She died from ligature strangulation and manual neck compression caused by the necklace she was wearing. He probably killed Haley out of jealousy since she had moved on from being romantically attached to him. That fateful evening, Haley had dropped by Orlando's flat after a night out with friends. She had consumed alcohol, and it is believed that Orlando attacked her when she was asleep. As time passed, Haley's roommates were a bit worried when she did not come home after going out with friends, but they thought little about it. The following day, however, her friend Josie Artin became quite worried especially after one of her roommates used the Find My Friends app to locate Haley's phone at Orlando to Sarah's residence, another nursing student. On March 9, after following her phone in an effort to find her companion, Artin arrived at Orlando's flat. She entered through a window after no one came to answer the door and discovered Haley's body in Tochero's bed with serious bruising on her neck and arms. Orlando, however, was nowhere to be seen. Investigators quickly discovered security video that showed Haley and Orlando entering his residence in the early hours of March 8 and Orlando leaving by himself after. He took a car to the John F. Kennedy International Airport and flew to Nicaragua. Haley's death was declared a homicide on Saturday, March 10, after an autopsy was conducted at Lord's Hospital in Binghamton. When Haley went missing in the early days of March 2018, her mother, Karen Anderson, was completely unaware of the situation. The Binghamton Police Department formally identified Tachero as a suspect on Sunday, March 11. They also revealed that Tachero had fled to Nicaragua. Steve Cornwell, the district attorney for Broome County, stated that after a grand jury indictment is granted in the case, his office will seek to have Tachero arrested. The U.S. Department of State will be presented with the warrant and Cornwell said his office will request Tochero's extradition from Nicaragua. The news of Haley's passing rocked her fellow students, and senior nursing students' Monday lessons were cancelled. A statement lamenting Haley's passing and expressing condolences to her friends and family was also released on Monday, March 12, by University President Harvey Stenger and Decker School of Nursing Dean Mario Ortiz. The Nicaragua National Police detained Orlando Tochero on Tuesday, March 13, at the Hospital de Leon. He arrived in the nation at 3.55 p.m. on March 9th. After killing Haley, Tochero made an attempt on his life and was sent to a mental hospital when he arrived in Nicaragua. Tochero was brought to the Directorate of Judicial Assistance, better known as El Chipote, in Managua after being detained at the hospital. Orlando's trial started in October 2019. Karen Anderson, Haley's mother, gave evidence against Orlando. She described how sympathetic and caring Haley was, as well as how Orlando had robbed her family completely. Orlando's defense argued that he was mentally ill because of excessive alcohol use that evening. They contended that given the circumstances, he shouldn't be penalized for his behavior. The prosecution, however, refuted their allegations by arguing that there was not enough proof to back up their notion. No wine glasses, bottles or receipts existed to support their claims and neither did any prior history of mental illness. Tercero was accused of second-degree murder in Broome County on March 17. If found guilty, he may spend the rest of his life behind bars. Tercero's arrest warrant was formally issued by the Broome County District Attorney as well. Tercero, who was accused with femicide in Nicaragua, appeared in court for the first time in September 2019. Tochero was sentenced to 25 to 30 years in jail in Nicaragua after being found guilty of femicide. His request to have his sentence reduced was denied in March 2020, and he ultimately received a 30-year term. He is still accused of second-degree murder in Broome County, New York, but extradition is problematic legally. Remember, everyone deserves to be in healthy, supportive, and respectful relationships. It's important to recognize the signs of toxic relationship and prioritize your well-being. Seeking support from trusted friends, family, or professionals such as therapists can help you navigate the challenges and make decisions that are in your best interest. If you find yourself in a toxic relationship, don't hesitate to reach out for help and support. Orlando clearly attempted to dodge the consequences of his conduct by moving to another nation, but he ultimately received a much heavier sentence. Due of Hayes' case, femicide, Orlando's felony accusation, receive more attention. 
there are no femicide laws in effect in the US court system at the moment. The mother of Haley hopes that her daughter's passing will highlight the gravity of the offense and the significance of such legislation. A UN report claims that every 11 minutes, a woman is slain by her family. And when women refuse, they frequently suffer terrible consequences, with death being one of the most common ones. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next video.